All right, what's up guys? So I haven't posted a video in a while just because I've been taking a break. We got back from a hunting trip in Nebraska and I've been editing that video since and it just needs more work. I just get so sidetracked. Like my mind thinks of new things to add to it and stuff like that and I'm literally like halfway done with it and I don't think it'll be done anytime soon. So I figured I would post a video so you guys know that I'm not dead or anything. So we'll learn a new trick today with warp stabilizer. It's what I'm gonna be using sometimes throughout the hunting video. Uh, warp stabilizer basically is, if you have shaky video, you go to your effects panel, type in warp stabilizer, drag and drop. That will take away the shake in your video depending on how shaky it is and unstabilized your video is. If it's super unstabilized, usually warp stabil stabilizer will just warp it hence the name. It'll just make it look weird and you might have to adjust some of the settings and sometimes it might not even work. It's just your footage is kind of shot. Today we're going to do warp stabilizer but this time it's going to be in After Effects. It's a little bit different way of doing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to warp stabilize onto an object that is moving. So let's stabilize some footage in a cool new way. Yeah. So when we're in Premiere Pro, I'm gonna kind of show you an idea of what the what I'm talking about. Um, when I play this back, you'll see that the screen kind of moves with his body, and it's because I stabilized it to him. And then with this clip, it's just kind of a little shaky, kind of all over the place in a way. So I could easily warp stabilize this, but just to give it kind of a cool touch, I wanted to uh, do this little trick. And what you need to do is when you're in Premiere Pro, you want to right click on your clip and then say replace with After Effects Composition. And then we wait. So once we're in After Effects and we have our composition created for us, we want to double click on it and it's gonna convert it into, basically not convert it, but it'll put it into a layer where we can go and stabilize the motion. So in order to do this, you're gonna need the tracker tab. And if you don't have that, you're gonna to wanna to go up to the window and make sure you have the tracker selected. So from that point, we want to click on our clip, stabilize motion. I'm gonna put this on that little black contrasty spot, which hopefully it holds. Kind of give it some room to think. Play it from there. So it stop, it jumps right there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and kind of pinpoint where it starts to jump. So it was doing a good job right till there, and then it jumped up. So I want to drag that back down. Also drag this back down, and we're just gonna continue fixing frame by frame. And then once we get to the end, we'll press play again. I can see why it lost it right there, because that black isn't really showing anymore. And then we'll press play again. It jumped again, so we have to go back. This is the tedious part. And from there, we're just gonna press play again. I can't see if it's jumping around, so we'll stop it. I'm gonna move it over. Boop. Just make sure it's kind of where we need to be with our... So it's already out of our composition with our line right here. So I'm just going to hit apply. And from there, go back to my comp. Now when I play it back, it'll be stabilized to that bottle that we tracked. And you'll see that it's moving all over the place now. So you wanna go into transform and your scale. 
and probably do like 120. I'll try 120 and see if that's good enough. That hopped out just a little bit, so we'll just do 125. So with that clip now, it is stabilized to the bottle. Kind of quick, easy to do. And there you have it. Just like that. It's fun to do. It's a different. It's a different way of stabilizing footage, and um, yeah, just something different. Figured I'd share it with you guys if you didn't already know how to do that. It's a little extra trick for the tool bag for making videos and stuff. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please slap that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I'll love you guys forever. Peace out. Boop.